Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and we have a blown engine on our mobile wash plant. Uh, so uh, I am up to 121.3 ounces of gold. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that thing's not working. Uh, so let's disconnect the power because, obviously, you would do that in real life in a situation like this. Uh, whether the game actually requires us to or not, I'm not really sure. Uh, let's see. We have, yeah, I had just got started uh, mining for the morning, and uh, we have 30% of gold in there. I guess we might as well process that, so let's do that first. Um, one thing I've noticed is that as I've moved further back this way, I've gotten a lot more gold. So, um... And I, I'm still trying to figure all this out. I'm still new to the game, of course, but my understanding is there's like a grid a, or a gold map, if you will. And that and the different grids can have different concentrations of gold. And I think I'm, you know, I'm just running into that inadvertently, not knowing uh, that that's what's happening. And I think there's a drill that we can get. Um, and we can even rent it or lease it. And what that does is it takes samples and gives us an idea of how much gold is in each one of those grids. So let's actually look at the map first. So this is the gold map here. And we are, uh, let's see, where are we? Uh, we're right in this corner here. And I'm not sure what these darker spots represent. Uh, this legend seems to indicate either buildings or maybe it's this gray right here saying that there's less gold because I was kind of digging in this area and I wasn't getting a lot. I was getting maybe a little over three ounces per bucket load. Uh, but as we've kind of moved over here, now I'm getting more like six ounces, five to six ounces per bucket load. So it almost doubled. Um. So anyway, I think we can, what does toggle square mean? It doesn't seem to do anything. Um. But I think we can uh, test this with that drill to see where the better gold is. So if we go to, uh, let's go to journal and let's go to other machinery, wave table, getting magnetite. We've, here we go. Single drill. Okay, collecting a fully revealed gold map is very important. You should start doing it as soon as you buy the drilling machine. Each single drilling gives you precise cross-section information about the dirt at the drilled spot. Uh, you get information about total gold. You can find ratio of so-called rich spot compared to the regular dirt. Information about how deep you have to dig to get to the bedrock. Uh, use those to make the digging less stressful and more efficient. Okay, so what I'm thinking is... Oh, after doing a single drilling, the whole square on the gold map will be colored. But this doesn't mean you should stop your work there. This will be just the average amount of possible gold. To get sure, you have to do multiple drillings in different spots. The more drillings you do, the more precise information about the gold location in the ground you will get. The color of the square will briefly show you cross section. Will briefly show you cross section how much gold uh, of how much gold there is on the hole. So yeah, we're running into our little grammar here too. So. I'm guessing that the, that the tutorial will have us eventually do that. But here again, we could rent one of those or lease one of those and do some drilling to see if we can find better spots. Because I think in the long run, that's probably going to, um, you know, be worth our while to do that. So why don't we do that? Why don't we take a pause from just our kind of systematic random digging across the you know the uh the claim here and we got to go into town anyways to get a new engine so that's got to happen no matter what so we'll turn that off and look into that drilling machine and and maybe mess around with that for a little while so uh if this i guess we can just leave everything where it is at the moment um, and yeah, we're gonna have to fix this too. So, uh, just trying to think here. All right. We don't need to take the water tank with us. Of course. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. 
So let's take this back off and just set it down there for now. Uh, I am going to move... Well, actually, no. Let's just leave the water tank where it is. I think it's fine. I, I parked it next to the fuel tank, so at the end of the day, I can e more easily fuel it up. Uh, speaking of which, can we tell how much fuel is left in here? There isn't really any indicator that I can see as to how full this thing is. There should be some kind of a gauge on it, you'd think, right? Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we're supposed to tell how much fuel's left in here. Nothing is popping out at me as obvious. Okay, well, anyway. Um, yeah, let's jump in our pickup truck. Now, another thing that I heard... Uh, I've been watching some other YouTubers play the, play the game, too, just to get ideas and that sort of thing. Um, and so I was watching one person, and they said that in order to raise the market, you have to sell the gold. And if you don't, then it doesn't, the price doesn't really significantly rise. Which doesn't make sense in a real in the real world because it would be really kind of the opposite, you know, supply and demand kind of thing. Uh, the less gold that's moving around, the more you would think the price would go up. Whereas if you, you know, saturate the market, then the price goes down. So. That seems counterintuitive to me, but if that's the way the game works, then we probably should just go ahead and start selling. Let's look at the price right at the moment. So yeah, it's at 1188. It's just it stayed under 12 for a long time. I mean, it was like day 13 or whatever uh, back here. Yeah, this must be day 13 and S1. I don't know. Does that mean like season one or something? I'm not really sure. Um, you know, be, and it hasn't really significantly changed since then. So I don't know. Maybe we should just be selling them as, as we get them and not to keep holding out and see if that does, in fact, uh, stimulate the market, right? So, not really sure. Oh, the other thing I was going to show you guys, too, is I did get another worker, but unfortunately that other worker is another mechanic, and I did, I just not sure what a mechanic's going to do for me this early in the game. Definitely later on, when we're in Tier 3 and Tier 4, and we got a huge operation going, mechanics going to be useful, but right now, I just don't think they are. I, I don't see why I would use them. So, we're just going to leave them in the queue for now. All right, so all that being said, um... We got to get the, the engine for the mobile wash thing. That's our highest priority. But I want to look into, like I said, leasing that drill as well. So let's head on into town and get that stuff done. All right, I spaced off and took a wrong turn. But notice we have a story thingy here. So let's take a look at that. See what it has to say. Okay, so we are at, uh, let's go to stories. We are at the factory. We've already read that one. Yeah, I think it's this. I'm not alone anymore, but I don't know whether it's good or bad. Now everyone hears that voice, child's voice. A couple times a day, a shrill scream penetrates the factory, followed by a sudden silence. Management decided to temporarily close the factory and scour it floor by floor. We're going to look as long as possible until we find the source of the screams. And then it tells us here that uh, we've already read this, but they found the child hang, uh, I guess, living in the factory or something. So, okay, more story information. Again, my understanding is that's supposed to give us a little bit of a discount. I don't know, every time we read one or after we read all of them or something. But it's kind of fun. It just adds a little extra something to do in the game here. Okay, we are at the parts store, and we're looking for a mobile wash unit engine. So, is that it right there? Mobile wash plant engine, yeah. So, that's 1300 bucks. The reinforce is 10000 Yeah, we're, we're going to go with the, <laughs> the 13 for now. So, let's buy that. Okay, that's taken care of. We'll throw that in the back of our pickup truck. And uh, next thing we'll do is uh, we should probably, if we're going to process our gold, we should probably do that first because 
Uh, it's going to take a little while, you know, for them to do all the bars for me. So let's do that next. So I'm going to go to the blacksmith, turn all of my gold into bars, and then we're going to come uh, to the bank. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, come to the bank and we got to go this way. And cash it in and see how much money we make. I, I'm sure we don't have 500000 but we, we could. We might be halfway there, at least with as much gold as I have. So we'll just see how that turns out. All right, guys, we are at the bank. And I have six full bars. Well, full as in 18-ounce bars. And then another small, smaller one there, cut two, three ounces or so uh, to sell. Any chance the price went up to 12 no, it's eleven eighty nine though. Um, so, all right. Well, uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna just start selling this and see if it does stimulate the market uh, to go up to see if that's actually uh, correct or not. Um, so, yeah, let's go to sell gold bars. We're gonna make some cash, guys. We are gonna make some cash. So, sell that one. And there we go. We are at two hundred and thirty six thousand uh, dollars and six hundred thirty eight. On top of that, <laughs> so we are uh, uh, just a little. Well, we're approximately halfway there. Approximately halfway there. But uh, again, if I can, um, if I can find out where the better, uh, what are they called? Squares, grid, whatever, are um, that will definitely speed things up for us. Uh, I also heard that the. Uh, Whoops. The loader might actually be a little bit better to use than the excavator. Um, so that's something we might want to play around with, too. We can always lease that stuff, and then, you know, if, if I don't like it or whatever, I can I can stop the lease. So, yeah, let's go to the machine shop next. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that turn came up a little quicker than I thought. Um, I, I think it's still... The more important thing we should mess around with first is the drill. Um, and then maybe we could try the, the loader too at some point. Uh, but let's do the drill first. All right, so that's this guy right here. Um, cost 72000 but yeah, we're not quite at the point where we want to buy this stuff yet. Uh, so it'll lease, it looks like for about the same price as the, as the large excavator. Uh, so let's rent that. And, oh, you know what else we got to do, though? We're going to have to upgrade the slot um, on our parcel. Can I do that from here? Yeah, I can. Okay. So, right now, uh, we can only have one machine uh, on the parcel. So, what we have to do is upgrade it for twenty grand, and now we can have two machines. Um, and if we ever find a worker that can run an excavator, then I'll upgrade it again. How much does it cost? 30000 next time. Okay, well, you know what? That's We can afford that. All right, so let's grab the drilling machine and transport it. That's going to cost us 1500 there. And it's a done deal. Uh, just out of curiosity, where is the front loader? Uh, it's right here. Let's see how much that rents for. What else have we got here? We've got a big bulldozer. This looks like a big shaker. Yeah. Oh, this and this. I think this is the that big Frankenstein thing. Oh man, that's gonna be fun uh, when the time comes to use that. Uh, but anyway, how much does this cost to rent? Oh wow, that's m more expensive. Uh, quite a bit more. Okay. Well, again, we'll we'll keep that in mind. All right. Let's head uh, back to our our place and we should have the drill waiting there for us and then we'll uh, start doing some testing and see if we can find where the the better plots are on, on on the land all right there she is um oh i hope that thing's got fuel in it we might have to uh Turn our lights off here. Uh, we might have to drive that over to our fuel tank and fill it up. In fact, I'm sure we do. I doubt they're going to give us a full tank 
of diesel but let's let's just see what it what it does this thing's cool looking man it's got like a big grill oh a grill that you can walk right through in front and some towing cables and things uh, all right so let's get into the drilling machine and um, we'll probably go into drive mode here look at us in our bad cells that's cool all right start her up and are we in what mode are we in oh you can't switch modes oh handbrake there we go okay so I guess this doesn't have different modes are we supposed to do something with the drill uh, raise drill is R lower drill is F oh set handbrake before drilling is this was it supposed to raise that fast I think that was maybe a glitch or something okay um, and we have oh we have a half a tank of fuel that's right I keep forgetting we've got some kind of bug thing going on I, well, it's either a bug or it's just that when you're doing the tutorial, they don't charge you for fuel in your vehicles. Um, if it's a bug, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, if it's the tutorial, then of course, when we finish the tutorial, then we'll have to start doing this for realsies. Okay, so I guess what we do is we start... Uh, we just start drilling in these little grids here. And I'm gonna probably I'm gonna assume the ones all the way on the border are probably not that good, so let's skip over those and start drilling in this square here. So we'll put the brake on, lower the drill. Oh, I guess it just drills by itself. Okay, cool. Lucky, you have just found a big nut. Oh, oh my goodness! An 8.8 .8 ounce nugget? Okay, if that starts happening a lot, I might turn nuggets off to do this, because I think that's going to be a little too OP. Um, Alright, so how do we raise the drill? Let's look at the... Raise, oh, raise drill is R, right. Okay. I mean, I, I don't mind if we get you know one or two here and there kind of thing but if we're if we're getting a lot of those nuggets that's that's definitely going to be OP okay so let's um actually here let's go to the map now i think we'll have some information about yeah okay cool so that is this color here so it's not the most terrible thing but it's still not that good either uh are we supposed to drill multiple times in the in the grid thought I said read something about that let's back up to here and try it again okay we're going to the gold map it doesn't show us anything different there uh, okay let me let me try it one more time in a different spot just to see if it makes any difference at all let's try it like in this corner here oh my goodness all right you know what you guys I I'm not gonna do this with nuggets on I think that's gonna be way too way too OP so why don't we here let's bring pull this back up I'm going to I'm going to turn those off while I'm doing this testing cuz I just don't I don't feel like that's uh legit. So let's uh, let's go back to the map and see yeah, no changes here. So maybe we just have to What's toggle square mean? Oh. That highlights the square. Interesting. Okay. Oh, we, okay. So we've got actually we got information over here. I see what's going on. Um, I'm not. Did that show up at first or not? It's telling us there's a total of forty-six 
2.77 ounces of gold in this spot. Rich spot part. And kind of gives us an idea of the drilling depth. And in this particular case, it looks like we're going to find more gold higher up than lower down. Drilling depth is 2.2. Well, that's the depth of our own drill. Well, that's pretty interesting. Uh, I don't remember, though, if this showed up before uh, on the first drill. So let's go ahead and here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into settings and game. And the only way I can turn nuggets off is to reset the, the defaults because it doesn't let me adjust it here. So let's just do defaults. All right. Now we're going to disable nuggets. Uh, we're going to put... Imperial units back on so we see ounces and we're gonna put Fahrenheit on the rest of it I think we we don't really care about uh, or the rest of it we want okay so let's apply that and all right so uh, we're gonna to move to the next square I'm gonna just dig right in the center of it and we'll see if just the one dig brings up that same information or if we have to do it multiple times because I just wasn't paying close attention to that Yeah, it does, it does show this. Okay. So that's, um, I think that's this color here, isn't it? The more yellowish. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So it does not appear to me that multiple drilling matters but look this has 92.87 ounces in it uh and the best gold is all the way down to the i'm assuming what is bedrock that's really good information so all right i'll tell you what i'm gonna do then you guys i'm gonna i don't know if i'm gonna map out the entire parcel but i'm gonna go around and start looking to see where uh you know some of the best plots are here uh, on the grid and see uh you know so that way we we can go to those and be more efficient uh with the time that we're spending doing this but this is really cool i just i just love this uh i'm just i'm loving this game you guys i really am it is, it's just a lot of fun all the different things you can do in it all related to getting that elusive gold of course so yeah i'll uh i'll bring you guys back with an update um here in a little while uh, after we do some drilling All right, guys, I'm back with an update. Um, so the first thing I'm going to tell you is if you don't want spoilers on where the hotspots are on the Ar old Arnold parcel, then you don't want to watch the next part of this video. Um, the thing I will tell you, though, is that I, I'm going to map the whole thing out, um, and you're going to eventually know where those are because I'm going to go to the best spots first. But that being said, I understand if you just don't want to flat out see it and you want to go through the drilling yourself. So uh, if you don't want that spoiler on the map, then then fast forward the video. <laughs> uh, I'll probably be talking about it for the next five minutes or so. Okay, so there you go. You've been warned. And uh, if you don't want spoilers, fast forward to five minutes, uh, about five minutes past this spot, spot. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the map and show everybody else what I've uncovered so far. So uh, if you look at the gold map now, I've basically drilled uh, along the border of the entire parcel. I didn't drill this part because that's my current operation and there's a big hole down there and this is where all of my equipment is. Uh, but what you can basically see is these lighter yellow ones have um, not necessarily more gold in them overall, but they, they have some richer, you know, veins inside of them. If it's a darker one, then it doesn't have the richer veins. But what, what you're really looking at, though, here is the, the, total, the total gold here and how much uh, the rich spot part is. That's the rich spot there. So you can see, for example, you know, this, uh, I was looking at one of these over here uh, earlier. Was it over here? 
Dude, dude, dude. See this one, uh, even though this is a darker colored one, it's got uh, 230.4 ounces in, in that grid. So that's still really good. Um, in spite of the fact that it doesn't have, you know, like a rich spot. So as you can see, I, I like I said, I did the outline, but I, this is worth doing. This is worth me taking the time, paying for another day or two of leasing that machine, the drill, to map out this whole place. Maybe not this area over here, um, but you know the rest of the rest. Of, I'm going to fill basically the rest of this in. Um, so, yeah. All right. I'm going to close the map now. For those of you who are just listening and not watching, and we're back uh, outside of the map. So again, I'm going to map this out. And then I'm going to start hitting the hotspots because, I mean, that's kind of the whole idea, right? And so you guys will, you know, eventually know where those spots are, or at least start to know where those spots are as I start to mine them. Uh, but anyway, this is, um, it's a little bit boring, <laughs> not going to lie. Uh, but, you know, I'm just watching other YouTube videos and, uh, you know, as I do it and stuff and just kind of going on. And uh, we're going to con continue on, like I said, and uh, fill up the rest of these grits. So I will uh, bring you guys back when I complete that and show you, uh, for those of you who want to see it, the final map. All right, so for you, it's just going to be a few seconds. For me, it's going to take me a long time to do this, but we're going to do it. All right, bye. Hi, welcome back, everybody. I, <laughs> I almost finished the drilling. only have a few, just a little bit left to go, and we broke our drill. So, yeah. It's time for us then to repair the drill. So let's hop on out of this vehicle. And uh, I'd say that looks pretty broken. Uh, so let's see. Can we maybe guess what we might need to take this off of here? Um, the impact driver, maybe? Trying to see if there's what we would look at to take that apart. Nope. A uh, screwdriver. Nope. How about the crowbar? Nope. The pipe wrench. What's the last thing? The hammer? Drill current durability equals 1%. All right, we're going to have to look at the dig tube because this isn't obvious to me. So we're going to want uh, spare parts. And we're going to want the drill uh, repair. So it is the impact driver. Ah, okay. And we have to do it on both sides. Yep, looks like it. Okay, so that's back to f four, and there we go. We hit it there and there. Okay, guess we'll just set this down here. Interesting. Whoop. Interesting. Okay. So we also need to repair our engine too. So since we're in repair mode, we might as well take care of that whilst we're at it. It was interesting uh, doing the drilling on these real steep areas here. Um, but I managed to, to get it done. So where is our pickup? Oh, did we live? We must have left our pickup all the way back this way. All right. Well, let's go get it. We're getting our steps in today, baby. Okay, so let's uh, park the vehicle right here and turn it off. And we want to grab this engine here, or motor rather. So for taking this apart, let's just save ourselves some time and watch Dig Tube again. So this is a mobile wash unit motor uh, mobile wash plant engine rather mobile wash plant engine repair so looks like we need the 
pipe wrench. Probably on both sides of those bolts, I'm guessing. Yep, that's it. Okay. Uh, so, pipe wrench is seven. There we go. The funny thing is, is I'm supposed to be unscrewing that, but that's... Uh, yeah, that's righty-tighty. <laughs> Not lefty-loosey. Okay. You'd think there'd be a place we could take this used equipment to recycle it or something. I mean, I'm not so sure what I'm supposed to be doing with it. All right, we'll put the new engine in place and uh, screw it back. Maybe these are reverse threads. We'll just say that's what it is. Okay, so we've repaired the engine on the mobile wash unit. And um, now we have to go into town and buy ourselves a drill. So let's do that. Okay, here we are at the parts shop. And we're looking for a drill. So where might that be? Chains. Here we go. Uh, reinforced drill for 28,000? No, don't think so. We're gonna buy the one for 3,000. <laughs> Okay, so get one of those, especially because this is a rental anyways. And uh, let's order that. I wondered if that, if the drill bit was going to last for the whole, you know, if I was going to be able to get it all done before it broke. And the answer is no. Uh, while we're in town here, let's go ahead and... Uh, check the gold price because I do have 19.6 ounces on me and we'll just see if uh, it's worth selling right now or if we should just wait Eleven ninety-seven. it's almost to 12 yeah um yeah you know what let's just hang on to it and keep going yeah. All right. I'll meet you guys back at uh, the, the claim. All right. Here we are. Let's grab this bit. Attach it. And then uh, let's see. We want four. Where's the nut at? Screw. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Okay, we are repaired. So, uh, like I said, I just have a little bit left to do. Had that uh, drill not broken, it took me approximately, I'd say, well, actually, I don't know what time I started. Um, no, quit hitting the wrong button yesterday I think it was in the late morning maybe but you know you can see it's already eight o'clock in the morning the next day but of course we had to stop and go do all this stuff too so um, it takes a good for to do Arnold parcel you know you better plan if you guys are planning on doing this in your own game at some point you better plan on almost a full day to get it done unless things go really smooth for you but hey this is gold mining so since when does things go really smooth right anyway uh, I'll go ahead and finish the drilling, and then I'll bring you guys back at, when I'm finished and show you the final results. So see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are back, and we have one final grid square to do here. So um, I'm going to officially 
end the episode here. For those of you who do not want to see the end results on the map, um, so if that is you, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Um, for the rest of you who don't mind seeing where everything is on the map, let's go ahead now and take a look at it. Are you other people still here? You need to leave now. <laughs> okay, I'm opening up the map. Hopefully you've left. Uh, okay, here we go. So let's take a look and see what we ended up with. So I'm, um, you know, like I said, I didn't get anything over here, but this is already all dug out anyway. And uh, in this little section here, we didn't hit either, but uh, I already know that these squares were much better than these squares just from what I found. Uh, but this is the end result of the map here. Um, and, you, you know, I, you can't really tell, though, exactly which ones are good until you, until you click on them. Um, and again, like I had mentioned to you guys earlier, just because it's a lighter yellow square doesn't necessarily mean that overall the total gold in that place is better than one that's not. Um, so with that being said, um, let's just kind of randomly, you know, look at a couple places. I'm really, um, almost more interested in total gold than anything else, but um, let's just start here. So see these ones that are right at the border are pretty, pretty sparse. And that's to be expected because the dirt's not very deep there. Um, that one right there has, has 18207. That one has 276, 357. Nice. 344. So this little area right here, 385, 387, 306, 287, 332, 325. 318, 299. Yeah, okay, so, so this area here is actually overall pretty good. Um, so let's let's take a go a little further this way now. So that's a 319, that's a 341. And I'm just kind of quickly clicking on some of these here. So these are all yeah, not that great, really. Um, let's kind of go down along in this area now. Whoa. That one only has 45. Can you imagine uh, spending a whole bunch of time digging there? And yeah, that'd be a waste of time. I'll tell you what, you guys, this drill is, is worth its weight in gold. I <laughs> see what I did there. Um, however, even when we become filthy rich, I don't know if I'll buy one just because you only need it you know, for a short period of time. So we'll probably just keep leasing it. We'll see though. Um, so we got 193s, 216s, 81s, 195s, 261, 262, 344. Uh, the 334 um, square is very rich. So is 3... 33 that has 370 321 374 414 oh my goodness wow that's i think that's the highest one we've seen right so 308 wow look at that you guys holy moses that's like that's the mother load on this parcel <laughs> i would say um 81.82% uh, of this square has rich gold in it. Oh, man. Okay. We're going to probably start there. <laughs> um, because I don't know if we're going to stay on old Arnold for a really long time. You know, this is just the starting parcel. There's so many more parcels out there. Um, but yeah, look at that. Wow. Okay. So 308 is the spot to be based upon what I'm seeing. And then everything around is not too bad either. So, all right. Well, I think what we're going to do or what I'm going to do, I'm tempted, you know, to, I'm tempted to move. Okay. Hold on a second. Go back here. I'm tempted to move my stuff out of here. Well, I still have the drill and just check these, you know, final like nine 
nine, ten spots too, just to see what they're like. Um, and then, and then take it back. So, but yeah, three hundred eight is is the best square that I found. But this area over here is, uh, in general, is really good too. Um, so yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, I'm gonna let you go here, and like I said, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna get all of my stuff that's over here and I'm going to move it over and uh, get a uh, prepare <clears throat> to, to mine around 308 here. Um, and then I'll probably, once I get stuff out of the way, I'm probably going to take the drill over here and just hit these other holes just to see how good they are. We might as well, I can't really do these cause this is already dug out, but you know, it doesn't matter cause we've already dug it out anyways. Uh, we, we might go through there later with the front loader and, you know, pick up the, the remainder of it. But, Anyway, check this out here, and then uh, unless I find something really, really good in this corner, uh, I think we're going to move operations over to square 308. Uh, but that is it for this episode. Yeah, this drill is amazing, you guys. It is Once you can afford it, afford it just to lease it, not to buy it necessarily, but to lease it, uh, I would recommend getting it and doing this. It's well worth the time because now, now we know where to go to really start cashing in and not wasting our time on squares that could be you know really bad like... Uh, what was this one up in the corner? Uh, yeah, I think it was this one, 45 ounces in the whole square, which compared to pretty much almost all the rest of them, that's really bad. So it would suck to waste so much time in that particular square. Uh, but anyway, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. I know I already said that, but this is now the true actual ending. That was the, the pre-ending. And uh, we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.